Okay guys, you are going to press the shift key continuously in your keyboard. Alright, so do not get the hand of shift key. So you have a shift key in your keyboard, you are going to press that continuously. So I am just putting my finger on a shift key now. So okay, now you go to the start, you are going to see the power and then restart. Okay guys, once you get this screen, you can get the hand of the shift key. So do not lift your hand from the shift key, keep on pressing continuously and restart your PC and just uh, once you get this screen, you can just leave the shift key. Now what you can do, you are going to click on this troubleshoot and then you have advanced option. In the advanced option, Ok guys, you are going to choose Startup Settings. In the Startup Setting, you are going to see this Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. So you are going to choose this option and then click on that. So what you got to do over here, it is asking you Restart to change the Windows option such as below. So we are going to disable that. So at first, we are going to restart it. Ok guys, now you are going to use the function key. So you can see here you got uh, in number 7 you have a disable driver signature enforcement. So you are going to choose F7 key. So once you choose the F7 key, it is going to restart board. So in your keyboard, so take your keyboard, in your keyboard you are going to see the F7. So you can see guys, here I got the app 7. Here you have app 7, you are going to press the app 7. You are going to check the list guys. So in the list, so in, in your computer, in your desktop or the laptop, whichever function key you got, whichever function key in whichever number it is going to ask you to press to disable the driver signature enforcement, you are going to press that function key. Ok guys, now I gonna click on, right click on this and I'll be clicking on manage you are gonna choose yes and then finally I'm going to show you the device manager at first imaging so you can see guys, there is a no error so I was having a yellow color over here so that represents the error. There is no error over here. Problem is solved. Now my printer is going to work. So follow the same steps for your mouse, keyboard, for whichever USB device you are getting error. You can follow the same steps and the problem is solved. Go to the properties. Now you can see the device is working properly. It's fine. So I was having a printing issue. So USB printing support was not working. Now you can see guys, USB printing support is also working fine. When I go to the properties, the device is working properly. So it's great now. So all these steps to fix the issue.